Hey everyone, it's Dave from WiseCam. I'm gonna show you how to set up your new WiseCam. So there's three things you'll need for setup. You'll need the camera, a smartphone, and a Wi-Fi connection. Let's start with your smartphone. You'll have to download the Wise app. As you're in your app store or the Google Play store, just search for WiseCam and the Wise app should pop right up. You could also search for Wise Labs if WiseCam isn't, getting, isn't showing you the app. So once you see the app, go ahead and hit download. And while that's downloading, let's unbox your camera. Inside the box, you'll have the WiseCam. You'll have a quick start guide. And then there's a separate box that contains power supply. It also comes with this little metal plate and an adhesive. The first thing you'll want to do is remove this plastic from the WiseCam. And then you're going to want to plug in your wise can. There's an LED light on the back of the camera that should be a solid yellow when you first plug it in. This is telling you that the camera is warming up. Wait till there's a blinking yellow light before you begin setup. So while we're waiting for that blinking yellow light, let's head back over to your app. When you first open the Wise app, it's going to ask to access your location. This is 100% optional, it just helps our engineering team improve performance of WiseCam. Secondly, it's gonna to ask to send you notifications. You do wanna hit allow for this because the only way that the app can send you motion and sound alerts uh, to your phone is if you, if you let it uh, send you notifications. At the very bottom of the app, you hit sign up. Uh, once you've hit sign up, enter an email and password and tap next. At which point it will send a verification code to your email. This works just like every other online account set up. So just hop over to your email, grab the code, and then come back to the WISE app. Enter that verification code to verify your WISE account. So now that you're logged in, you'll see a large plus sign in the middle of the screen. Press that to be taken into the device setup screen. Now come back to your WISE cam. Um, on the bottom of the camera, there's going to be a little button. Make sure you push that button and hold it down until you hear it say ready to connect. Now go back to your app and confirm that you heard it say ready to connect. So hit that button. Now you'll put in your Wi-Fi information. The Wi-Fi information will automatically populate with the network that your phone is already connected to. Make sure you're connected to a 2.4 gigahertz network. The WiseCam doesn't work on a five gigahertz Wi-Fi network. Double check that you're entering the correct Wi-Fi password and make sure you didn't accidentally enter your WISE account password instead of your own Wi-Fi password associated with your home Wi-Fi network. Once you've entered that in, tap this button to get a QR code. Now you've got to scan this QR code with the camera. So hold your WISE cam about five inches away from the QR code. QR code scanned. Please wait. After it scans, you'll hear it say, QR code scan, please wait. If it doesn't work right away, you can always move it closer or farther away. Try to adjust the distance between the phone and the camera. Um, if it's still not working, try to tilt your phone around to make sure there's no light reflections on the screen. So sometimes you get light reflections that bounce off and block that QR code from the camera and it can't scan it. If the QR code is scanned correctly, you press this button and it'll finish the setup process on its own. The LED indicator on the back should be now a flash between yellow and blue and then it will flash blue and then it will turn into a solid blue. Setup completed. And then it will tell you the setup is complete. Now you can name your camera. I'm going to call this WiseCam Studio. Once you name your camera, hit start and you should see a little picture of the WiseCam right there. As soon as you hit that, your camera should go live. And there I am. So now the camera's working. You could mount this to a wall um, with this adhesive. So. First thing you want to do is pull off this back tab, place it on a wall, and then pull off this front side like a band-aid. Then take your metal plate, place it right on top of that sticky adhesive, and then your wise cam will stick magnetically right on the back. All right, so your wise cam is now completely set up. I just want to walk you through a couple settings to help you make the most out of your wise cam. So in the top left corner, um, you can toggle between high definition and standard definition. If you have a slow internet connection, I would suggest switching to standard definition. Um, it's going to be lesser video quality, but you're going, to get a, you're going to get a better, more consistent stream. In the right-hand corner, you can toggle your night vision between on, off, or I just leave it on auto. In the very top right corner, you have your settings. I would turn on your motion detection. I would turn on your sound detection. That way, when your camera detects motion or sound, it'll send a notification to your phone. 
If you put your Wise Cam in a higher traffic area and you feel like you're getting too many notifications, you can go into your notifications, click settings, and then turn off push notifications. Now, if you want to share the Wise Cam with another user, say someone living with you also wants access to the camera, they can download the Wise app, also make an account, and then uh, you can hit share, share device to other users, enter their email address, and hit invite, and then that user is going to go to their notifications, their messages, and they'll see the invite right there. The device tab shows you all the cameras that you have set up. It displays the static image of the last time you watched a live stream from that specific camera. So all you have to do is just click on the individual camera to view the live stream view. And that's it for setting up WiseCam. If you followed all these steps and you're still having issues setting up your camera, of course you can always email or call our customer support team. They're waiting and willing to make sure WiseCam is everything you want it to be. Uh, we're all in on this company. We want it to blow your mind with how awesome this product is. So please, in the rare circumstance that your camera will not connect, please call us and, and we'll help you, we'll walk you through it. We'll, we have engineers here uh, on hand in, in Seattle ready to fix your issue. If there's a bug, we will fix it as soon as possible. So we're here for you, we're here to help you. Additionally, we hope you will join our Wise Fam community on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Please follow us and continue to give your feedback and support. So uh, thank you so much, everyone. We'll see you next time.